Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can install Jamf server on Amazon EC2 Windows machine. So you will be downloading Jamf server from the Apache website. Thereafter, we will be also starting and uh, we will be launching our AWS Windows Server machine at AWS. In previous lecture, you can see at my channel youtube.com forward slash KGP Talkie, I have shown how you can create or how you can launch Windows machine at AWS EC2. The link for this tutorial is given in the video description. If you want to know how to launch Windows machine at EC2, you can watch this channel. You, you can watch this video. Alright, so I suppose you know how to launch. Previously, we launched t2.micro machine, which is quite small machine. It has just one gigabyte of RAM and one CPU. So this is very small machine type to host this Jamf server. So for time being, I'm going to convert this machine or I I'm going to uh, uh, change the instance type of this machine to a better instance. So I click on here at action, thereafter instance setting, thereafter change instance type. So in this change instance type, I'm going to select here T2 large. So to know more about the instance type, you can visit at aws.amazon.com EC2 instance type. So here you will be seeing all the instance types. So currently I'm seeing here the T2 types instances. You can see other instances as well. And the cost of those instances are also very low. So I click on T2. Thereafter, you can also click on T3 as well or whatever you choose there. So basically I'm going to select here T3 large and then it will have two CPU and eight gigabyte of memory. So the T3 large, I'm going to copy from here and then I'll be selecting T3 large from here. So you need to scroll it down a little so that the numbers can start with the T. So a little bit more, we need to start here. Okay, so we want here the T3 large. So we have here the T3 X large and uh, T3 small, here is T3 large. So we are going to choose this T3 large. The cost of T3 large is very less for your understanding. Uh, you can just simply, uh, you know, click on there and then you come here. So the cost of this T3 instances are really very less here. There. All right. So it's like less than $0.1 per hour. Although we will not be needing more than one hour to use this T3 large. If you are, if you don't have much money, you can still try with your, uh, you know, the micro instance or a free tier instance. It is not necessary to change the instance type. I click on apply. Thereafter, I'm going to launch my instance. So I just click on here. I just gonna select this in fact, then instance state, start instances. So this windows is going to be, you know, they started. Once it is started, then we will click on connect. Now your Windows instance has started. We need to click on connect. Thereafter, you need to download here the RDP client. If you already have downloaded, you do not need to do that. So you just download this RDP client from here. And then I'm just gonna connect my Windows machine. So it's going to ask about the password. You just need to scroll down and get password. Thereafter, you need to upload your private file. So the private PEM file we created in last video, YouTube Windows.pem. Thereafter, you need to click on the decrypt password. Then you will be getting here a password. So this password I copy from here and then I need to paste that password here. So this is the password. Thereafter, I click on OK. It is going to connect with my EC2 instance. So my EC2 instance will be up and running in a while. Well, so our machine has started here. Instance type is T2 micro. It is still saying, although uh, we have changed it to the T3 large. Let me just see it. Seems like that T that one is wrong because we know that we set it as T3 large. Anyway, 
so that part particular part is coming wrong here it might get corrected okay it got corrected here t3 large is here and here is the public ip address now you need to open your uh, edge browser here so this is the default browser comes with ec2 uh, windows uh, instance then i need to search here jamp download all right so just click on jamp download then you need to click on there from here you can download jamp for windows we need to download it for 64 bit there are many versions you can download any of these versions so i'm going to download here the latest version so i download this latest version so this says your download will start automatically we just need to wait for a while otherwise i can click on there then it will start downloading jamp so the jam server has started here to download now we just need to wait for a while so the jam server download has almost finished we just need to wait for a while and click your download folder from there you will be seeing here your jamp windows all right so you need to click you need to double click on this then it's gonna just take a while to start this welcome to jamp and this says that because the activated user account on your system some functions may be restricted that's okay i click on next i'm also going to install mysql or these things if you want otherwise these are not necessary i'm just gonna keep all of these as default selection then you will see a default jamp will be installed at uh, a c drive as a jamp server do remember the c drive is on your ec2 windows server not on your local then you click on next language it's gonna select their english then click on next it's just going to install jamp all right so jamp installation is done here now it says do you want to start in the control panel i say yes clicked on finish it's going to start here so it will automatically start if it does not start then you can click on this it will start here it says that we have installed apache mysql filezilla tomcat and all of these are currently in stop stage so if you want to start apache you just click on start so as you click on start it's going to start here apache so it has converted into green it is starting and once this is done you can click on here admin so it should open here a new you know a, a new tab there as an admin we need to wait for a while it has started here so the first time whenever you start a server it take a little time to adjust it because it is the first time it is doing all the primary and the basic settings there if you want to do some configuration you can click on here the configuration or you can click on the explorer so with the explorer you would be able to see the files where it is stored so it's in c drive and then in the jamp server all right thereafter you can click on uh, configure if you want to configure your jamp server so here are http df configuration file php configuration file my php admin all these configuration so currently anyway we don't want to change any of those things what we want to change here we want to host our uh, you know we want to host our site at jamp server so this server has started already and you can see there a local uh, you know the, at a local uh, address we are able to access our jamp server other than this let me uh, try if we can access it from our local machine so to access from local machine you have to provide a public ip so here is the public ip and if i copy this from here and i paste it there i i am not able to uh, get it here the reason is here that uh, the currently windows inbound connections are not allowed here so for that we have to change that from the firewall setting so i 
type here firewall so here is you know the windows defender firewall with advanced security windows defender firewall i just click on there so we have to apply uh we have to allow all the uh, you know the inbound connections so currently inbound connections are not allowed there so i click on advanced setting okay i click on advanced setting it is taking a little time here i get the option inbound rules in inbound rules i have to allow you know uh, uh, the incoming uh, in, in in incoming uh, 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 you know the connections similarly just a second let me see it here okay so the for the changes we have to click on here windows defender firewall thereafter you need to click on windows defender firewall properties then you will be seeing all these domain profiles so i allow here inbound connection then i click on apply in private profile i also allow inbound connections then i apply in public profile i also allow inbound connections then i apply this all right so all the settings are done here then just you need to click on okay and thereafter if you access this ip from your local pc you should be able to get that let me just try it out i refresh it now we are able to see the same output which we were able to see at our local host at ec2 instance all right so we have successfully installed the jamp server now i'm going to show you how you can how you can host your website at the jamp server for that purpose you need to get a sample website so that sample website you can get at github.com just let me uh, type it here github.com forward slash uh, okay forward slash lakshmi merit so you need to uh, visit my uh, github profile at my github profile you need to get the website a sample website okay seems like that is wrong there so it should be github.com forward slash lakshmi merit then you need to click on here at repositories and in this repositories you need to search here lakshmi merit so you will get here lakshmi merit github.io so this lakshmi merit github.io you need to download this is a sample website i just click on code and then download this zip file so this is going to download at your local uh, i mean at your ec2 instance once this is downloaded then we need to come here at the jam where we install we install it inside the local c directory at your aws uh, ec2 instance then you need to click on here at jam and thereafter in once you come inside the jam then you need to scroll it down a little we need to find out here a folder named as htdocs so let me just scroll it up in fact instead of down we should be able to see that okay so that ht doc is here so you need to come inside this ht doc so you see there this index.php file so this is the file which is opening as the default file so what we need to do we need to delete this index.php file from here otherwise you just you can rename this file as index underscore bkp as a backup file so we have already we have already downloaded our website here lakshmi merit github dot io you just open it and then you need to extract this you need to click on extract all it's going to just extract this whole thing from here 
so it has extracted the file now you can see it here you just go inside this folder now this whole thing we need to copy from here so I'm just gonna copy this whole thing from here and then we need to paste it inside the HD doc so we need to come back here at HD docs and thereafter we need to paste that whole file from there to here once it is pasted thereafter you you need to come here at the local host you just refresh this you should be able to see here if you, if you remove this dashboard in fact because it is by default inside the dashboard if you just refresh it now you should be able to see here these hosted website all right so now i'm able to see this hosted website if you scroll it down you will be able you you will be able to see all these you know the hosted site here now you can come to your uh, uh, local machine at here you just remove this dashboard from here and then you can just you know the refresh it as soon as you refresh it you should be able to see this portfolio lakshmi kanthiwari so here you have you you have successfully hosted a dynamic website or hosted a website at uh, ec2 windows machine we have installed their a jamp server to host this website on ec2 instance all right even though if you close this even though if you close this connection it's not going to it's it's not going to uh, shut down this this will be hosted there permanently unless you stop your uh, uh, instance from here all right so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching this i'll see you in next one